What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add layers in Photoshop. Just before we get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to go ahead and leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So just before we get into this video, I'd like to say this is a requested tutorial, as you'll see right here. Can you do a video how to add a layer in Photoshop CC? Now, he's asked for specifically in CC, however, it doesn't matter why he's asking it in, because it's the same steps in every Photoshop. Now, some of you are probably thinking this is a waste of a video. Why bother making it? It's really simple to do. However, people like this guy right here, are new to Photoshop. It's going to help people. So if it's going to help people, of course, I'm going to be making the video. And the same applied with my Sony Vegas tutorials. I started off very basic and I've now gone more advanced. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the video. So I'm doing this in Photoshop CC just because he asked for it. However, it's going to be the same in every Photoshop. So I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to do 1280 by 720 because that is the same as a thumbnail. I'm just going to click OK. Now, adding a new layer is very simple. Now, first of all, you can just come straight here and click this right here, and you'll see this is going to open up a new layer like so. Now, with the new layer, we can just put a background color like that. And you can see that layer is now black, and the background right here is still white. So, that is what a layer does. You can only apply one thing to that certain layer, so we can go ahead and add some text here. And it's a very small... There we go. We just got to shorten this down. There we go. So, I just put that stuff in right there, and again... You can see it's on this one layer right here. Anyway, if I just delete this layer right here, you'll see, if I just go ahead and get the text tool and start typing, it's going to add another layer by itself. So I'm going to just call this uh, skin render, you'll see why. And then if I hold Alt and just move it out, this is what we can do. I'm going to just go ahead and center this right here. And yeah, so you can see right there, we just simply added text without pressing the new layer button and it automatically created a new layer. The same applies when we drag an image in, you'll see. You can see right there. Now I've actually saved this as Minecraft logo on my PC and you can see right there it comes up as Minecraft logo. Again, we're just going to go ahead and shorten this down just to show you it does work. And then if you don't like the name of whatever's here, you can double click on the text and you can see now you get what you want. So I'm just going to shorten it to MC logo for the sake of it and like that and then you can see I'm also going to add a background to it like that now you can see this one has a really weird name that is how I save it again I'm just going to call it MC uh, back and now you'll see it's taken over everything all you need to do is drag this below the other layers like that so that is how you order the layers as well and then I'm going to add one more thing which is my Minecraft skin render and that is what I'm going to do like that and there you go. And again, you can see it's called Render Res R. And I'm going to go ahead and change that to CS uh, Skin Render. Like that. So that is how you make a new skin. Or that is how you make a new layer. Simply pressing this button. Or just go ahead and drag in on your images. It is that simple. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has helped you. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to go ahead and leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated with what I'm going to be posting and what I'm going to be posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel. I post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to have my Snapchat, which I'll show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Cyber here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.